Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to a video I really wasn't expecting to make for a while, as Bethesda have sneaked a few mods in through the back door. Essentially, these three were meant to have been in the last release, but were tugged at the last minute. So in this video, we'll be looking at the brand new Daedric Male Light Armor mod, which is a creation as an alternative variant of the Daedric Armor, oddly enough, based on the Blades free to play game. But this one does come with a nice little extra, but more about that later. Anyway, I'm the Oggy Man and I'll be looking in detail at all the mods off my creation club so you get an idea whether they are worth your hard earned cash or not. If you want to see more reviews and game tips like this, don't forget to hit the sub button below and please leave a comment or a like. And seeing as YouTube doesn't promote little channels like this one, it would be great if you could share the videos around as it really, really helps the channel out. So, first things first, the quest buy was some random bloke we've never heard of before called Chris Takahashi and costs a princely sum of 100 credits, which is $1 or roughly around 85 pennies. Basically, it's cheap as chips. And we'll be doing this the usual way, a brief run through the quest, have a look at the stats and I'll give my thoughts at the end. So let's crack on. Now, on downloading the mod, you'll have a miscellaneous quest put into your journal requesting that you ask an innkeeper for work. I think it can be in any inn. I just happen to have been slaughtering the good people of Whiterun for an upcoming video, so the Ban of Mare was quite handily nearby. The it's note obvious, given yeah. will ask you to search uh, for a missing merchant near Traitor's Post, which can be found just past Windhelm. Once you've dealt with the bandits and read the journals, search Gunther's body for a ring and head off to see the Khajiits. Now you'll have a choice here to swap the ring for a Daedric armor set or keep the ring and pay a significant amount of gold for it. I'd suggest if you have the gold and you can find the ring useful to your style of play then keep the ring as it's a decent triple enchanted item. Oh, and just a quick heads up, when you're at Traitor's Outpost, it seems like there's only one floor, but looks can be deceiving. With a lot of fanning about and a whirlwind sprint shout or two, you can access a room upstairs where you'll find a master chest containing leveled loot. So it's probably worth checking out whilst you're there. Okay, now that's all done, it's off to see the Khajiits. Now you've got uh, several um, options here. Um, you can purchase the arm with gold or you can swap it for the ring. Um, if you think the ring's useful and it suits your style of play, I strongly suggest you uh, keep the ring. And you'll obviously if you have enough gold, um, because a triple enchanted ring is quite rare. So I'm going to actually purchase the, the armor and keep the ring. So now we've got our hands on the armor, let's take a look at what we have. It 
runs on the usual Skyrim Daedric design. I quite like the open helmet design and overall it looks actually kind of cool. Uh, not too over the top either. Though I have to say, as with all these Blaze crossover mods, in a close-up the detailing isn't as good as it should be even if it is only 100 credits there's plenty of free mods with 2 and 4k textures out there and I expect the same from any paid mod whether it's a hundred or a thousand credits but that being said most people don't get too close on their own armor so won't really notice or care so it's no biggie really um, now also, normally when the Daedric or a full Daedric set, raise the chance of successful intimidation checks by 10%. Unfortunately, I don't know how to check this and I'm just going to assume this is still the case, but don't hold me to it. Um, overall, I actually think it's a cool looking armour. Um, I'm not really into Daedric myself, but yeah, this actually looks quite cool. Okay, so it's time to take a look at the stats and this is where this mod actually gets a little bit interesting. So first things first, these can be player crafted with Daedric Smithing Perk using Ebony Ingots and Daedra Hearts etc. The uh, stats of the arm are the male is 44 armor and 12 in weight, the helmet is 23 armor 15 in weight, the uh, gauntlets are 14 and three in weight the boots are 14 and four in weight but if you look carefully there's something a little bit off here the helmet is heavy armor not light so the question is how will this affect the custom fit and matching set perks so let's take a look Okay, as we can see, despite not being a full or matching set of light armour, this still gets a benefit of both perks. It'll be interesting to see how the Elva armour does it with no helmet at all, but you're going to have to wait for that video to find out. So now let's take a look at the ring we found on Gunthar's body. It's named the Ring of Massa, and it's a rare tripled enchanted ring, offering a reduction in illusion spell cost by 30%, increases your stamina points by 20% and sneaking is 20% better. This is a cracking little ring and well worth keeping if it fits into your style of play and it's certainly going to work with at least one of my planned builds. However, if you're a two-handed pounder then this ring isn't for you so I suggest you swap it for the armor and save yourself a lot of gold. For those that can use it I strongly recommend you keep it. Sadly though, it can't be disenchanted. That would make it really, really worthwhile. Okay, so what are my thoughts on this mod? Well, I'm not a fan of Daedric armor personally, so that does cloud my judgment somewhat. But this stuff is actually quite cool. Not too over the top, if you ask me. The stats are very decent, but even though I like the look of the helmet, I don't like the fact that they've thrown a heavy armor piece into a light armor set. It almost makes the whole set on the border of falling out of the light armor category, if that makes sense. And it also gives a feel of the whole thing being cobbled together. That being said, it's way, way lighter than normal Daedric stuff, and it looks pretty decent. You can smith new sets as you level up, so it'll see you through the whole game. So if you're into Daedric armor, it's only 100 credits. Why not get it? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you later. Love you.